The Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has vowed mighty vengeance on Palestinian militants for what he called a black day. Israel has already carried out a wave of airstrikes on the Gaza Strip, where one of the biggest tower blocks has collapsed. The bombardment comes in response to coordinated dawn attacks launched by the militant group Hamas. More than 2,000 rockets were fired from Gaza while militants infiltrated Israeli territory, taking dozens of soldiers and civilians hostage. Several hundred people on both sides are reported to have been killed. A former Minister of State for the Middle East, Alistair Burt, described the situation as catastrophic. Efforts that the people were hoping for to bring more peace and stability to the region have been set back almost indefinitely by the scale of what has happened and the brutality. Uh, this will damage relationships for years to come and is potentially seriously damaging to, to the region as a whole. The US, the UK and the EU have condemned the attack by Hamas. Iran, which backs the group, has congratulated its fighters. Hundreds of people are believed to be dead after a powerful earthquake hit western Afghanistan. The authorities in Herat province said several villages have been completely destroyed, leaving residents trapped under the rubble. A Coast Guard helicopter has airlifted 10 people whose cars were stuck in Argyle as heavy downpours caused flooding and widespread disruption. Some areas of western Scotland have seen a month's worth of rain in 24 hours. The Met Office has extended an amber warning, meaning there's a danger to life for parts of northern and eastern Scotland until tomorrow afternoon. Our Scotland correspondent Jamie McIver reports. A slow-moving band of heavy rain has been moving across Scotland, causing flooding and serious disruption to transport. There have been no trains to London from either Glasgow or Edinburgh, and many services within Scotland were suspended as a precaution. An amber weather warning covers an area stretching from Glasgow to the southern and western highlands. The Scottish Environmental Protection Agency says it has quite significant concerns for some communities on the west coast and warned that what it called the relentless rain was not normal. Rugby Union Scotland have crashed out of the World Cup in France after losing 36-14 to Ireland, who will now face New Zealand in the quarterfinals. Wales beat Georgia 43-19 to qualify top of their group. England, who had already qualified, managed a narrow 18-17 victory against Samoa. The England head coach Steve Borthwick said his side showed resilience. A lot's been said about when the team's in tough circumstances, what they then do. Now, the team was in tough circumstance today, but this team found a way out of it. Have we got to be better? Yes. Without question, we want to be better. And we'll learn from it and we'll be a better team next week. And the British screenwriter and film director Terence Davies has died at the age of 77. He won the Cannes International Critics Prize in 1988 for his film Distant Voices Still Lives. 